Alright, here we are to continue the story of my uncle. Oh, I do love. <laughs> the game does look really good, doesn't it? Just whoa. <laughs> These are not sights you see in many games. <laughs> not very often. Wow. Uh, Hello, who are you? Uh, You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle, and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. <laughs> You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by frog people. Or more like salamanders. Either way, they, they walked like humans. They talked like humans. How is that possible? Well... Talking like humans makes a lot of sense. No, not talking like humans. Walking like humans makes quite a bit of sense because... Well, except for our feet design, it's a pretty good uh, design for a body uh, to do a lot of complicated things. Yes, our feet are utterly retarded, but oh well. So yeah, we're going to, I guess that's the town, to Maddy Madness. Nobody's going to get that reference. Um, I guess I do a leap then, maybe? Damn it, I'm not going to make it. Uh. Oh, oh. So I just cheated the system. <laughs> okay. I thought I could make that. I couldn't. So maybe... I might be able to leap immediately to there and then have the grapple to make a safe landing. Or I just do it in one go. God, God this, this game looks amazing! How have I never heard of this game when it looks this great? I thought this, I don't know, maybe this would be a very short game, but no, it does seem to actually set up a story with characters and everything. Uh, where am I going? No, I, th I must be going that way. Oh, I... I leap grapple to there and then grapple to there, I guess. Let's hope I guess right, I can think. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Damn it. I hoped I would have some uh, upwards momentum, but 
I guess that didn't work out quite as well as I hoped. So, wow. There we go. So, this is the village where we'll find Madeline. What a strange coincidence. What a strange correlation. There are two things that I know uh, have a Maddy Madness or a Mad Maddy in it. Over here! Hi, welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. I haven't seen him in a few days though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me, but it's worth a try. Before asking him though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad, unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later! Ah, uh, later, Madeline. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human? and still feel like it was perfectly normal. Are we having a bit of a uh, racist on our hands? Alright, so I can't exactly talk to people. They don't seem to be speaking... Uh, at least not a language I know. And then go to the island with the windmill? I'm being incredibly blind again, eh? am I not? How did you get up here though so fast? Just climb I guess? And where did all this metal come from? But yeah, I do. So far, I'm in love with this game. And I guess that, uh, yeah. It's not that bad unless you have to stay too long, so I guess that uh, Madeline isn't all that happy about uh, living here. Um, you might want to fix that. It looked like most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad that took me here. Alright, so... Yeah, it really is just all human trash. I mean, I did wonder about the metal, but yeah, I guess that all of it is then just human trash. Which, I mean, it's a really cool idea. So, basically, these... Yeah, these people, they live on human trash. So, what did they do before that disposal? Uh, the garbage disposal thingy... Uh, was put in uh, work or whatever, however you say it. Visit California. Yeah, I don't think that's. This is such a cool game, and I mean, I love that idea. I love that idea that. the idea that their entire world, their entire village is 
built out of our trash, but which really makes me wonder what did they live off before? Uh, before we started uh, doing. Yeah, I'm. Um, can you tell that I'm really intrigued? <laughs> I can just kind of bounce off. Uh, home sweet home. Oh, so this is was his tent that she pointed to. I thought it was in that uh, tiny village, but yeah, it was definitely here. Birthday, Uncle Fred. Mum says you are four times as big as me now. Me, ten years. You, forty years. <laughs> Fred Gable observations. The substance that seems to have triggered the quickening of the egg is a bluish crystal with a fluorescent effect. I've seen for a fluorescent minerals before, but none that shines as bright as this. Moreover, to my knowledge, these minerals need to be exposed to ultraviolet light to emit visible light, which makes the crystal luminescence a mystery. I vaguely remember something about electromagnetic radiation having a similar effect, but that seems impossible in, in this cave. Why these crystals and an effect on the egg remains, remains a mystery as well. I made some experiments on one of the crystals I found, and it seems like they contain some sort of chemical energy that could be harnessed with electricity. I've yet to I have yet to collect materials for a proper electrical circuit, but my initial experiments look promising. Alright, so I guess that all these people were what happened to, to the to those frog eggs which is so this civilization would also be extremely new this does make me wonder what happened to the mosquitoes because if this experiment he did on the frogs did he do the same experiment on the uh, mosquitoes? And does that mean that we also have sentient or a little bigger and changed mosquitoes? Five days after arrival, me and the frog people have found a place to build a village. There seem to be plenty of fish, and the people are using my trash to build makeshift shacks. I can't wait to start my research on their race. This is the discovery of the century. So yeah, I do think I'm... guess I'm kind of right in what I think. So, so why did he cross out the forest for... He's losing track of how many days he's been here, I guess. 42 days after arrival. Haha, <laughs> 42. I've examined the creatures in almost every way I can. I've documented their habits, their appearances and their behavior. I'm getting close to a complete report, and I wish I could somehow share this with my scientist colleagues at home. Now that I think about it, maybe I could build a new pad. That would that would take me home again. So yeah, I guess that's kind of a problem then, isn't it? Because it's... I guess it's a one-way system. For how long had Fred been gone? I'm not sure. A couple of months, I think. Less than half a year for sure. I remembered hiking with him the summer before, but when I counted the days in his journals and from when I last saw him, it didn't make sense. Maddie said that she had known him all her life. Maybe she meant it figuratively. Figure... Like she didn't really mean it. Like 
when you say you'll die if you don't get a puppy for your birthday. That's true, though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course it is. <laughs> no, I think she wasn't lying. I think... Although... Yeah, I am... Um... I don't know, but I'm really intrigued and I love it. I named one of the little froglings Madeline, after my own journey companion. I bet she would, sh she would have loved this adventure. Anyway, the little frog lives up to her name. So curious and inventive, eager to learn as well. She even asked me to teach her how to write. Yeah, I do really love this. I love this world. Advanced astronomy project for project for amateurs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm reading everything again, which is really stupid for me to do. So yeah, I guess the GPU wouldn't really uh, work in. Well, would this be another dimension or? Far off planets? But yeah, can you tell that I'm really intrigued and also really confused at the same time? Which is the combination that I always love in uh, games. Oh, so that's the windmill. Yeah, I am still an oblivious twat. I love this game. <laughs> so yeah, this is a very new uh, race, I guess. So is that then the old... Uh, the old world for them? I guess so. Just yeah, living on the go. I mean, I guess it makes sense. Interesting painting. Guess we have to go that way later on then. Um, yeah, I'm still really confused. I still have no idea where I need to go, but fuck it, I love this game now. Yeah, I do love paintings like that. <laughs> Maddie. Very little pigs and her recreation of it. <laughs> Grapple hook Maddie. So, um, I wonder because, yeah, Grapple hook Maddie, did he make this suit for her? Because that would kind of seem to make sense. Except in one way that it doesn't. That I don't think he has figured out a way to get back. So yeah, I don't know. Did Fred have any kids of his own? Nope, not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family. I guess he was always away or busy with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village though. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him, taking after all that he did. Maybe Fred was like a father to her. She didn't have a real father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. That's another thing we had in common. I think you had in common, so... 
I guess that the father of this story, the one who is telling the story, his father left him or something? And yeah, I guess that he just kind of wasn't the person to hang around people until he kind of met these people and I guess took a liking to them. At least to Maddie. Did Fred have any kids of his uh, own? Nope. Not that I know of. He lived alone. He didn't really have any time for a family, I guess. He was always away or busy with his inventions. He could be gone for months at a time. I never knew how soon I would see him again. Don't you think he felt lonely then? I think he was too caught up in his projects to feel lonely. It seems like he found new friends in the village though. Maddie seemed to be especially fond of him, taking after all that he did. Maybe Fred was like a father to her. She didn't have a real father, right? If she was born from an egg. That's right. That's another thing we had in common. Not really. I mean, it's not like you don't have a f don't have a father when you are born from an egg. I forgot I don't have a, another grapple. I didn't know I was on this platform yet, I thought I needed to cross one first. I want to get to that platform though. So I guess I'll have to find a way or... I might have to get to that platform, actually. Come on, oh, come on, please. I need to make that. No, come on, please. Ah, damn it. Yeah, my aim is far from great. I was sure I needed to meet somebody, uh... I needed to meet the village elder at, uh... What's the place called? At the windmill, and... There's a windmill over there, so... I feel like I'm kind of going the wrong way, but... This seemed like the only way I needed to go. Like, the only way I could go. I guess I... Maybe she meant this place? I don't know. Yeah, I guess this place. A stranger in our halls. Welcome. Our name is Samuel, and we will do our best to assist you. Please tell us what brings you here. I told him that I was looking for my Uncle Fred. We should help. Do you know where he is? Fred left us without a word. If you aspire to find him, we can share with you a sacred crystal, a power core. Fred used their kind to power his suit. You can have it. If you return our Fred to us. The crystal? Sweet! Madeline, that was inappropriate. So what? Your help will not be necessary. The crystal is not for you to have. What? I want to help finding Fred. Why couldn't I? Please, Madeline, that is impossible. Why? None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. What's the danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. You are forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. We apologize. It is true that we want to keep her safe. But she does not understand. Behind us is the power core. Take it. And go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. 
is she be not, safe. Is she not allowed to take risk in her life? I mean, I don't know what's in the chasm, of course, but... Well, you seem perfectly fine with sending me into it, and... Madeline has fallen to the... I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? No, of course not. Yeah, I think that Medi, uh I mean, if we go in together, we would definitely be uh, safer. And it's definitely kind of a feeling of, hey, you're not per se one of us, so you can uh, dare your life. So yeah, I, um, I think we're going to be in danger, and I think that Medi is going to come with us, and, well... I'd be lying if I said that I would be kind of happy with that, because Medi does seem pretty nice, and yeah, it's also the uh, other uh, Medi uh, kind of having an effect on my opinion on her. But I do like her, so yeah, I can't wait to see her again, and yay, danger. See you in the next one.